Hey guys, how you doing today? So what I got here today is my Hawk Helium Steps. I have three of the older Hawk Helium Steps. The new steps have a rubber grommet that is mounted to the step and the nut inside the standoff fits down in this little hole. And you can buy these grommets offline. And I'm gonna show you where I got them, how I did it, and the material as I used Maybe I can help you out, make your sticks a little quieter, and see if we can't, you know, share some information with you today. So here's all three of my full length Hawk Helium steps. They're not cut down. And inside this, the steps are held together right now just with the grommet. There's a grommet in there. There's another grommet in there. And there's a grommet at each end, okay? And the grommet looks like this here. It's essentially a rubber foot. And the rubber foot kind of lines up with this nut and in between the standoff here. So the, the standoff is a factory nut. I haven't changed that at all. All I did was tap out, I drilled and tapped into here, into the stick itself, and mounted that rubber foot on there and that nut fits in there just right and what that allows me to do once it fits in there it allows me to stack these in on my stand and I'm at I'm getting hooked up here on my strap and I'm that cuts the height down on it for me when I stack them this way to just under five and three quarters, almost five and a half inches high. What I've done is I've stacked two on top of each other, then I took the third one and I mounted it from underneath. So using four of these rubber feet, two on one stick, two on another stick, and there's one stick that doesn't have any feet on at all. These, these little rubber feet here, I got these rubber feet at rubberfeet.us. They're the medium extra tall rubber feet. Model number TF8T TPR87. And they're about a dollar twenty a piece. So they're real cheap. And then the screw that I use to mount them is this screw that I found right here at Menards. It's got a little Allen head on it. And the screw is a uh, part number 85093 and it's an 832nd screw and it's three quarters of an inch long so I bought this tap and this drill bit in a set at Menards and it's an 832 number 29 drill bit so I just drilled that out and I drilled all the way through the step all the way through the stick and use the tap with this handle here that I also bought at Menards. It's a number four half inch handle. So I got a couple, I don't know, $15, $20 in this stuff right here. And I drilled all the way through the stick. And how I figured out where I'm gonna drill these holes is, is I stack my stick on top of the other one. And then once I had it sitting on top of there, I just rocked it back and forth. And that nut and bolt in between the standoff there scratched the the stick underneath it at both ends and that allowed me to see see where my lines are going to go so then i drilled it out tapped it drilled it all the way through the stick does your screw doesn't being three quarters of an inch long does not come all the way through the stick but i just drilled it all the way through tapped it all the way through and then when once i put my screw in i use some of this loctite and this is high strength loctite just to help keep that screw in there from backing out. Now that screw is not weight bearing at all. All it does is hold that foot on there so that I can space these sticks out so that they don't make a lot of noise as I'm carrying them in. Now you'll see the standoff wants to hit the other stick when I'm putting it together. What I found was some of this fleece, super quiet material. I found this at Dunham's sporting goods store and it's a super soft really sticky stuff 
I'm probably going to put a piece on the stick itself or maybe just wrap it around the standoff. And that will keep these from rattling around on top of each other, making all this noise. So the rubber stopper keeps them spaced out. The silencing material is going to keep them quiet. What I also did was I found these buttons here. These XOP, they're called, uh, I found them at XOP, at Extreme Products Outdoors, or Extreme Outdoor Products, XOP, and they're called the Steel Fast Strap Button. They're $5.99 each. They're like a Versa button. You can get them on Beast, uh, thehuntingbeast.com, you can get them there. Uh, but I went to XOP, they're all steel, they fit right on there, but the bolt that came with them is not long enough to go through the stick. So what I had to do was I had to buy a longer bolt, that's the stainless steel bolt there, and here's your part number for that stainless steel flathead bolt. It's part number 87350, it's a flathead socket cap screw. Well I found that bolt it's just long enough it's an inch and three quarter to go through the stick and then I use this um, lock nut this nylon lock nut that I found at Menards as well it's a 7 16 head and that goes through the on the back side so what that does is it holds my used to be a rope mod but since then I've upgraded to this tether that I got from tethered it's a mini versa strap this mini Versa strap is a lot lighter and it's just as strong as rope, if not stronger. And it gives me, uh, I don't know, I think it packs nicer. Um, it's just easier than the rope. The rope sometime last year, I, I felt it slipping on me. This mini Versa strap from Tethered is pre-sewn every inch and three quarters with these little pockets, I guess. You're going to slip one over the button here and then wrap it around the tree and then slip the next one down that fits that tree the closest and slip it right over again. So um, these are this strap is three quarters of an inch wide. It's eight foot long and the spacing is like I said every inch and three quarters. The whole strap itself weighs four grams which is 0.14 ounces and the strap has a braking strength of 1500 pounds so as far as climbing up on a stick it's plenty strong enough for you and then at the end of the strap it has this elastic cord here so as I wrap my 8 foot strap around the stick I end up with a little bit left over so I go back over top of the stick here with the elastic strap and that holds it on there nice and tight so I don't have a rope hanging down anywhere getting caught on anything I'm not dragging it through the woods so that's the strap the button and the rubber feet mod that I did to these sticks haven't cut them down at all I still like the length three sticks is gonna get me up to where I need to be so these are the things that I've done here and if you guys feel like you want to accomplish this it isn't that hard to do so go ahead and give it a shot I got all my parts at tethered for the strap I went to XOP for the mini Versa button and then the rubber feet I got those at rubberfeet.us and then the screws and stuff I bought at Menards so good luck with this guys I hope this helps you and uh, if you got any questions Leave them or comments, leave them down below, and I'll try to answer them as best I can. I'm not an expert, but I just thought I did something here that might help somebody else out. Appreciate you guys, and be safe out there, and good luck hunting.